What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Extra Triple C. Last time, we had a quick talk with Anderson, and then we searched the uh, previous floor, floor 13, for some of the goodies I couldn't grab last time. Didn't really amount to much, but I think we leveled up last time? I'm gonna say yes, I don't remember, it's been a while. The one problem with having a job is that recording isn't as consistent as it used to be so anyways now we're prepared to head down to the 14th floor and that ought to be rainbows and lollipops and sugar drops and things whatever sakura labyrinth uh floor 14 crimson full course god help me <clears throat> again we descend into the temple shrouded in its leaden atmosphere now what? The invitation didn't specify a location. No, it came from over there. Hurry and make yourself presentable. It's the least you can do to be polite. God knows you're all about that, aren't you? Oh good. I like how Shenji still looks brighter than Elizabeth is, despite the fact I think they're both supposed to be in shadow. <clears throat> Anyways. Good day, my cute little squirrel. I'm so very pleased to see you've accepted my invitation. This is my thanks for the unnecessary actions you took last time. There will be no spears and no torture. Please make sure to savor these three meals, covering breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now I'm hungry. Shinji probably still in pain from what we saw. Be behind Elizabeth with her gracious as possible smile, I noticed Shinji looking away with his pale face. I don't even want to remember it, his expression vividly displays that sentiment. Now first would be the breakfast table. Follow me. God help me. I don't suppose I have any other choice but to accept her invitation. In all honesty, I'd rather not. Can't I just explore the labyrinth normally? Oh, whoops. I missed a step. I'll just, I'll just read it. Because it makes sense either way. Elizabeth disappears deeper into the labyrinth as if guiding us. This level looked does look pretty devastating if we want her SG. You'll need to play along a bit, but if things look really bad, we'll have to pull you out. Be sure not to jump the gun. Miss Vala, to make sure we have been to make sure we have been preparing countermeasures against this cooking. But I pray for your success. Thank you, Ronnie. I'm loaded with uh feelings of overjoy. Well, at least there's still enemies to fight while we're here. I'd honestly be worried if, uh, there weren't. Also, I just noticed, did I? No, wait, right, I never used any... I don't know, whatever. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I wish I knew what Gilgamesh was talking about. A translation cannot come sooner. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, sorry about that. My voice is just... Ugh. Alright, now let's hope that I kill him a lot. <laughs> oh, cool. Alright. No problems. And what goodie were you hiding from me? There we go. Just get a good example of where maybe some hidden treasures are. Yo, fuck you, get a Babylon. <laughs> yeah, let's see you block all that, bitch. Oh, well, here we go. 
won't be able to proceed on normal, but I got money, I guess. Yay. I guess that's good. Honestly, unlike the first game, I don't find myself buying as many items as I... As I, uh... As I should or could. I don't know why. I guess, like, in the earlier stages, it was kind of like that. I was kind of buying, like, a lot of items and stuff. I don't know, maybe it's just because Gilgamesh is such a badass. Or maybe it's just because, I don't know. I, I'm still voting with uh, Gilgamesh as a badass. That's gonna be what I, uh, that's what, that's what I'm gonna go with. Alright, I see the first table ahead of us. And no more weird telltale. No, no more telltale! I love their games! Well, some of them. Alright, let's get this over with. <laughs> Welcome to the first table, the breakfast course. It will only be a light shock to start with. If we jumped into a real main course, you might die of the ecstasy of it. Okay. Wow, God. <laughs> the table is draped in a cloth so white it hurts my eyes. In the middle of that pure white, like a single drop of blood, sits a strangely red dish. Er, uh, is this spaghetti? That's right, with an ostrich meat boot. Bo 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 ah, fuck it, some kind of food. I even slaughtered the ostrich myself. How? It looks heavy, in several senses. Honestly, I was assuming we'd start out with a soup or something. So this is how nobility eats. She's overdone the spices, but it does seem a rare and unusual dish. So what will you do? Will you let yourself be eaten by your meal? Or as a human being, will you spit that meal back out? Choose whichever you prefer. Thanks for the help. Right, no matter what menu, what the menu is, I don't need to eat it. Alright. Oh, oh, come on, come on, scroll to the right one. There we go. All your plans have been exposed, Elizabeth! Uh, what? How? <sighs> Sigh. Impossible! With that perfect invitation in my humble manners, what could possibly have given it away? Everything gave it away. As for the hidden cameras, I don't think I need to mention those. Anyway, not even Vala Izanagi is so gormless as to be deceived by something like this. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about being found out. But you have no right to. F uh, but you have no right to refuse, no matter what. Behind Elizabeth. Yeah, that's just the sentence. <laughs> There's a heavy door standing there, like I've seen on some other levels at some point. How could I forget in these obnoxious doors? No, there's no way I could forget them. <laughs> this is Ronnie's specially made, humiliating artificial noble phantasm from her no underwear phase. The fully automatic, disrobing, triggered lock. Patent pending. The parentheses, liter or yeah, the parentheses, not parentheses. The brackets at the end literally say patent pending. I didn't make that up. <laughs> I'm cutting your lifeline. Yes, I'm sorry, please. Anything but that. I've made some modifications, so it's not disrobing triggered anymore. 
It's a fully automatic, clean plate triggered lock now. Oh. He choked at the end. That's right. In other words, if you don't lick that plate clean... One, two, four. If you don't lick that plate clean, you won't be able to move forward. So eat up. Get to it. I've put all kinds of things into that dish, so eat it up magnificently. There are no other choices, honey. Wait! If the condition is for the plate to be cleaned, then it shouldn't matter if I eat this instead, should it? I have poison tasting noble phantasm that would be perfect for this occasion. I... that's... Too bad! I took that into account too! I've set up user restrictions so the data for that food can't be deleted by anyone but Izanagi. So anybody, so nobody else can do it. Impudent, seaweed-headed. It seems you act sensibly only in the most trivial of matters. Well done. You may be rotten, but you are my attendant. Now then, little squirrel, prepare yourself to eat. An experience like ascending to the gates of heaven awaits you, you know. This time, Elizabeth points her finger sharply. No one in this place can look away from that finger. So there's nothing I can do but eat it. Mm. I'm sure this won't end terribly. Nervously, I sit at the table. Before my eyes is a red lump. Ostrich meat. But... Bolt, bulge, bolt, bulge. That word. Yeah. <sighs> okay, it doesn't look so bad. It doesn't smell weird. Shinji ate it before, but maybe there's just something wrong with his sense of taste. It's fine. It'll be fine. Exclamation points. <laughs> Again, please wait a moment. <laughs> yeah. Large ether goes off as soon as it enters your mouth. Not even my Vimanas. Propellant has such capabilities. Mankind's oldest. No! Newest lethal bombing by cooking? Oh, here we go. By large ether, I assume he means the similarly, similarly named healing items in this game. But I really don't know what he's trying to say about it. I've tried to approximate sense as much as I could with that sentence. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad to see even the translator didn't know what the fuck he's trying to say. I... it can't be. Vital signs are dropping at an unbelievable rate. Mock down. It does not appear that there was any poison included. The dish makes a double attack on the taste buds and the soul by its disagreeable flavor alone. What? It can do this much damage just by tasting bad? That Elizabeth, she's terrifying! Is that the sound of my character actually eating that abomination? It's an incredible flavor. Nothing as swimple, simple as sweet or salty. It was chaos itself. My stomach turns. I break out in a sweat. My whole body rejects this substance. But I can't give in. I can't spit it out. If I give in to the nausea, the path forward will be closed forever. Though my eyes tear up, I somehow force all of it down. Found you, Gabon, well. So, so your impressions? Those are tears of joy, right? Right? I'll speak honestly. It was terrible. That's not even a judgment of flavor. Delicious or disgusting. This is more like an act of war than food. It's terrorizing. If I were to compare it to something, it's impossible to compare it to anything, but if I had to, 
It's like if you put a piece of candy in your mouth only to find it was turpentine. Times 1,000. Jesus fucking Christ. No, that's still not enough. <laughs> what? To force yourself to finish off that dish. Eyes like those of a dead fish. A praiseworthy feat. Vala, I will say this only once. You have shown me that you truly possess human strength worthy of one who would be my master. You may rest easy. All right. Now open that door, Elizabeth. This is only the beginning of the banquet, is it not? I'm trying to listen to see if I can figure out what that B word is she keeps saying. Drat, it looks like the bullshit in was a failure. I must have done insufficient research. A soup really would have been a better bet. Ow, fuck. Mm. But the inside of my mouth. Th this is just the beginning. Next is the main course, the main dish, right? So next time it will definitely be up to your expectations. Expectations, whatever. Oh, oh wait! Well, you know, that was really amazing. Okay. Both of them have run off deeper into the labyrinth. Uh, are you okay, Vala? It looks like your HP's gone down, but can you keep going? I think I'll be okay. Vala Izanagi's stomach is still intact. Besides, however much that hurt, it doesn't look like Elizabeth managed to enchant me. That's the silver lining. Don't quail back now. You are a mongrel that can accomplish things once you try. If you've endured this once, you will be able to endure it twice more. I don't want to endure it twice more. Alright. That's gonna be it. Uh, you know what? Now let's let's make it to the next table. Stop at the next table. That sounds like a good idea. That way I can hopefully finish both of them off at once. <laughs> So, we'll keep going for just a bit longer. Curse you and your devil skills. What the hell did he do to me? Oh, I can't use skills. No, that's fine. All right, dead. <laughs> dead. Gone forever. Ah, oh, there's a fountain way over there. Uh, do I have any items? Is this for servant, or is this for me? Okay, that's for me. So. That's for servant. That's for servant. Here we go. Nope, that's also for me. God damn it. Is this for him? No, it's also for me. Shit. Hold on. Damn it. I have to go buy more of those later. Because <laughs> I have a full heal one, but I don't want to use it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to have to open Bray then. Oh, this be. Oh, I was going to say, that's going to be funny if we just actually, like, hit all attacks at once. Well, that was fun. Alright, we'll take care of this boss spawn. Oh, you know what? 
yeah, we'll stop. We'll stop at the boss monster. So that'll be it for now. So until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Extra Triple C. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back into the labyrinth. Fight our way to the other side with the egotistical Gilgamesh at my side. And crush all those who would stand in my way. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta!